Good day guys, my name is Senad and I'm working for PlanetBlender.com. In this video I will talk with you about this awesome lighting node. I will show you where to download it for free, how to add your own HDRI images to it and how to save it in Blender so it's always ready to use whenever you start a new project. Maybe you're asking yourself now what's so special about it? Why should I use this node? Well, first of all, you can add as many HDRI images to it as you want and you can easily switch between them, which is always a good thing. The sliders here will give you additional control over the lighting in your scene. You can change the rotation of the image, the strength light slider, increases the lighting obviously but this will not affect the image in the background so you can increase the lighting without getting a bright background but if you want a bright background you can use this slider to to get it so to download the lighting node you need to go to planetblender.com and find the downloads here look for the lighting node, open it, open it, scroll down and here you will be able to download it. So when this thing here pops up and asks you for money, don't worry, just type in a zero in this field, click on I want this and you will be able to download this. After you download the blend file, open Blender and make sure you are in the Cycles render engine. To import the lighting node, you need to click on File, then Append. Here you need to find the downloaded blend file. Open it, go to Node Tree and find the Planet Blender lighting node and Append it. Open the Node Editor and go here to the World Settings. Click use nodes and delete this one now press shift a go to group and add the planet blender lighting node so here it is before you save this in blender you need to add your own hdri images to it and i'm gonna show you how to do this press tab to open the group and when you open it you will see that for each image there is one node group so if you want to add new images all you need to do is to copy one of those groups also select the reroutes and duplicate everything connect those and now you need to be a little bit careful because this group here is a copy of this one and they share the same data which means if you change something here, it will also change in this group too. To fix that, you need to press this number here. So now this here is a totally new group and you can do with it whatever you want. So to add a new image, open this too by pressing tab. In this node here, you can open your new image. So press first this X here and then open, find your image click on open image um, for this tutorial I'll just use one of those doesn't matter now um, what else you, do you need to do is go here to the group output and change the name of the group output and it makes totally sense to me to write the name of your new image I will just write here new image and also copy this name because you need it somewhere else too. So tab out of the group, select it, find this field here and paste your name here, also here and here. Now connect this new group to the group output and here you see there is your new group output for your new image. So close the group here is your new image and you can add as many as you want. To save this group here to Blender, all you need to do is go to File and Save Startup File. 
and um, every time you add new images I think you have to save it again so guys that's it for this video if you stay till the end thank you very much I know it is really hard listening to me trying to speak English but thank you and if you like this video please share it subscribe and I hope I see you in the next video bye